Hello guys and girls, Foxy Raven TV here with a short video here. So <clears throat> I made a video how to uh, turn off VSync uh, and um, set max FPS and so on and so on uh, a couple of years ago. And I've seen people write this and that, so uh, I decided to make a new one. So what you have to do, you have to have the NVIDIA settings here. So, um, and then the NVIDIA app and control panel, of course. So this is only for NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, not AMD, guys and girls, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> first of all, you need to go into the 3D settings here under uh, Administer. And then under, this is on Danish, by the way, because I am a, a Dane, so um, yeah. And then you have to go into pro or Program Settings. And then you can choose a game on this uh, list here that you have installed. If by any chance the game is not installed, um, <clears throat> I mean, it's not on the list here. You will experience that sometimes. So, if we go in here, then you have to, to press on the add here. Uh, on Danish it's Tilfoy. But, uh, yeah, you go in here, and then add. Then you have to find the .exe file, um, or, uh, yeah, something like this here. This is an .exe file. Let's see if I actually have a game that I didn't do this to. So we are just gonna take Entrouted. I already have Entrouted here. So, uh, yeah. Mm. So you can see if you hover over it, it says .exe, and that is the file you need. So let's just do uh, this one here. Then you have to add selected program. I, I suppose it's on English. Um, click that. And now you can see that it's on the list down here. So yeah, there you go. So we can go in here and on Danish it's Lodrat Synchronisering, but um, on English it's uh, uh, V-Sync, Vertical uh, Sync. So here we go. This is for the V-Sync and we can turn that off like that. We can also do Max FPS on Danish Max Billedhastighed and we can turn that to on till on Danish and we can set that to something like 90 or you can set it higher you can set it up to a thousand but we're gonna do 90 then we can do it if we have a, a dual or treble monitor kind of setup I have a dual right now um, sometimes I don't want it to run on on 90 FPS if I'm in the background or on my secondary monitor Sometimes I think it's good, like it's 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 lower because the uh, PC will use less resources and less power uh, when I'm not really in the game, you know. So I normally set that to something like 40, 45. Um, then I can use the secondary monitor, and then you just press apply on Danish. It's Anvin, um, and there you go, boom. So now vertical sync is off. We have a max frame limit on, on 90, so it will not go higher than 90 FPS while you're in the game. When, when you are <clears throat> on your desktop <clears throat> and still have the game open, it will only do 45 FPS. So yeah, you can cap your FPS this way and you can turn VSync off. Even games that doesn't have uh, have VSync settings in inside of their options, you can still do that. I have done that with Fallout 76. I don't have Fallout 76 installed anymore, uh, as I don't play it. But yeah, even though a game does not let you turn VSync off in their options, you can still do it this way here. So again, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna show you again. Go down here, right click, then NVIDIA control panel, and then 3D settings, and then go over to program settings, and then select the program. I'm playing Dundee Defenders 2 right now, and I'm playing a lot of it, and as you can tell, I have done nothing to it. So I'm gonna do that as well here. So we have... Where's Lodrat Synchronizing? Where is that? It's right there. So this is... And I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna set max FPS to something like... I like 90. I don't know why. My eyes cannot tell uh, any difference above that. 
We can set this to on as well. I'm gonna set that to that. And apply. And now if I, I if I open the game, the max FPS in the game will be 90. It will not go to 91 or 92 or 100. It will stop and at 90. Make your your GPU uh, a lot less silent. I mean, a lot more silent, and also have room when it really truly needs to uh, to to boost up that uh, um, efficiency. So yeah, it is it is a good thing to do. Don't just if you have a monitor that has like 140 hertz. Don't let your FPS go over over that. There's no reason for that because your monitor will not register any higher FPS than 140 if you have a 140 hertz monitor. My monitor is 165 monitors. So if I go to something like 170 or 100 or 200, it will not do anything for me. The max FPS I would need to set is 165. Um, but yeah, 90, my eyes cannot see any difference over 90 FPS, so that is why I always set it to 90. But yeah, anywho guys and girls, that's that. Take care, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.